Hi, I'm Dr. Kushant Kumar Bortun, Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, GIS College of Engineering, Kullan. My subject topics is Advanced Welding Technology, ME 703A. Today's lecture is three welding joints. Welded joints and their advantages. Welding is a very commonly used permanent joining process. A welding joint is a point or edge where two or more pieces of metals and plastics are joined together. They are formed by welding two or more work pieces, metal or plastics, according to particular geometry. As for the American Welding Society, there are five welding joints are number one is lap joint, bar joint, corner joint, edge joint, and T joints. Welding joints has following advantages compared to other type of joints. Welded joint has higher efficiency and efficiency greater than 95% is easily possible. Since the added material is minimum, the joint has lighter weight. Welded joint have smooth in appearance. Due to flexibility in the welding procedure, alteration and addition are possible. It is less expensive Forming a joint is difficult location, is possible through welding. The advantages have made welding suitable for joining components in various machines and structures. Some typically welded machine components are listed below. Resurfaces, steel structures, Flange welded to sap and axles, crank saps, heavy hydraulic turbine saps, large gears, pulleys, and flywheels, gear housing, machine frames, and bases, housing, and mill stands. The above equipments, machine equipments, are welded and joined together to make a complete machine. Basic type of welding processes. There are two types of welding processes. That is one is liquid state welding and solid state welding. The liquid state welding that is fusion welding, heat added to the base metal until they melt. In addition, supply added metal filler materials. Upon cooling, the joint is formed. Depending on the method of heat addition, this process further subdivided, namely electrical heating, chemical welding, laser welding, electron beam welding. In electrical heating, arc welding, resistance welding, induction welding. In chemical welding, gas welding, thermit welding, and laser welding, electron beam welding are there also. In solid state welding, here mechanical force is applied until material deformed to make plastic stays. Bonds are then formed through molecular interaction. Solid state welding may be of various kinds, namely cold welding, diffusion welding, hot forging, friction welding. Strength of weld joints. Adequate care must be taken to enhance the strength of the welded joints. Strength of a welded joint gets affected mainly by the following factors. Crack initiation, it is possible that cracks formed by cooling a melted 
melted metal. Residual stasis due to inhomogeneous heating of the base metals. Residual stasis may exist upon cooling. Metallurgical transformation. In heat affected zone has metallurgical properties may change leading to weakening of the joint. Defects of various kinds like incomplete penetration, porosity, slack inclusions, blow holes, which affects the strength of a welded joints. Stress concentration, abrupt change in the geometry after welding many introduce stress concentration in the structure. Types of welded joints, lap or fillet joints, obtained by overlapping the plates and welding their edges. The fillet joints may be single transverse fillet, double transverse fillet, or parallel fillet joints. Types of welding joints, that is lap joints. There are three types of lap joints of the single transverse, where the welding is done on the top of the plate. B, double transverse, where both sides are welded. And C is parallel fillet. So different type of lap joints. Again, bar joints formed by placing two plates edge to edge and holding them. Groups are sometimes cut for thick plates on the edges before building. According to the shape of the groups, the bar joints may be of different types, that is square bar joint, single V bar joint, double V bar joint, single U bar joint, double U bar joint, single J bar joint, double J bar joint, single bevel bar joint, and double bevel bar joint. There are the well types of welding joints. There are the bar joints, different bar joints are there. A is square bar joint. B is single V bar joints. The single V is 60 degree, as I mentioned. C is single U bar joint. D is double V bar joint. E is double U bar joint. And there are other types of welded joints are that is corner joint, edge joints, and T joints. So square part joints. Square bar square groups is a part welding joint with two pieces being flat and parallel to each other. This joint is simple to prepare, economical to use, and provides satisfactory strength, but is limited to joint thickness. So thinner plate can be joined by square bar joint. The opening and gap at the root of the joint and the included angle of the group should be selected to require the least well metal necessary to give needed access and meet the strength requirement. Key joint. When welding thicker metals, a double V joint requires less filler materials because there are two narrower V joints compared to a wider single V joint.
Also, the double V joints help compensate for lapping forces. The single V joint stress tends to wrap the pieces in one direction when the V joint is filled. But with a double V joint, there are welds on both sides of the material having opposing stresses. J joints, single J bar joints are when one piece of the weld is in the shape of a J that easily accept filler material and the other piece is square. A J groove is formed either with a special cutting machinery or by grinding the joint edge into a form of a J. Double J bar joint have one piece that has a J shape from both directions and, and the other piece is square. Element of welding joints. This a revision zone, weld face, root face, root opening, and the base metal. Weld, bar weld. This is the bar weld, and right side is the fillet weld. That is root, fusion zone, weld face, tau, the flat, and the vertical is it another tau, touching where the tau is there. Bar joints. Joint types, single welded part, permanent or temporary back, double welded part, reverse test consultation, easier ultrasonic testing or radiography. These are the bar joint, bar weld types, single V can be single or double welded, single bevel weld, double he will and the back part permanent or temporary back step is given in the, between the two plates in the back side of the step it is permanent or temporary these are the figures the photography shows welding joints but joints but will thumbs that is again we will angle, included angle, fusion face, both side, and root face, and root cap. This right side is the root run, is very important, and cap and reinforcement. Root run is very important for deep penetration welding is required for proper joining. So root run is very, very important for proper joining of the weld joints. It gives better strength if the root joint is correct. U joint, single U bar joint, but welds are welds that have both edges of the weld surface shaped like a J, but once they complete together, they form a U. This is the figure. Groove angle, thickness is T, groove radius, that is the root face and root opening. This is U joints. Double U joints have a U formation on both the top and bottom of the prepared U joint. U joints are the most expensive edge to prepare and weld. They are usually used on thick base metals where a key group would be at such an extreme angle that it would cost too much to fill. Fillet weld. Simple to assemble and weld. Stress concentration at towers and roots, 
notch at foot, fatigue and toughness, critical dimension is throat thickness, root cap affects throat thickness, radiography and ultrasonic testing is of limited use, large fillets are uneconomic. This is the fillet joints, two fillet 12 thumbs, that is the root, tau, well face, and the right side is again welding, short thickness, and the leg length. Gaps shall be taken into account for minimum leg length. Welding positions, flat, downhand only, horizontal positions, horizontal welding, vertical positions, vertical welding. This from the welding is done from the bottom to top. And another is overhead position, overhead welding. Apart from this, there is an angle in between that, the angle welding. So, welder must be tested with this by the position welding they perform. Welding positions, flat and downhand positions. This is another is horizontal position vertical position, overhead positions. These are very important for, for a welder and welder has tested by doing all these welding test positions welding. Basic welding symbols. These symbols are used in the welding design engineers in the drawing sheet and design so that soft floor engineer can see the type of welding by the seeing the symbols what type of welding he has to be performed the number one is fillet joint this right side is a symbol square part single p part double P bot, single U bot, double U bot, single pivot bot, double pivot bot. Basic welding symbols again, single J bot, double J bot, bit, H and seal. Start, ceiling run, spot, seam, mast, seam, plug welding, backing strip, stitch welding, projection welding, flash welding. Part resistance or pressure upset welding. These are the welding symbols right side, and these are very important for welding engineers for designing uh, any collapse that is maybe pressure versus or maybe other welding perform uh, the welding is performed. Soft floor engineer following these symbols and doing the welding in the soft floor by choosing by checking the symbols and accordingly they perform with the machines, they perform the welding. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the third lecture I have completed. And next lecture will be four. We will discuss the other topics in the 